Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all a okay, the usual intro, but a different backdrop. It's like my natural habitat right now. As this isn't a makeup show, I've just got my natural backdrop, which is my bed the most comfiest thing in the world. Today we'll be doing another video of my declutter series. Um, I did them quite a lot before I moved house, so like back in the summer, um, and I just haven't done any since I've been living in my new place, um, and we were just accumulating a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, especially foundations. So I've just gone through some bits today. I do have a couple more videos to come. I will be using this intro for the others as well. I will be doing an updated makeup collection very soon with everything involved. I just wanna declutter stuff first before I put a makeup collection video out there. Hope you guys understand that, I reckon you will. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in what I've been decluttering or just seeing how I declutter, then please keep watching. <laughs> Okay, so in today's one, I'm gonna be going through my big cube. This has got like glitters and pigments and single eyeshadows. And then hopefully I'm gonna go through my brows and mascaras as well. As always, I'm just gonna start by taking everything out and popping it down and then working it back through um, in my collection. Okay, so, oh my god, I have so many MAC glitters and pigments, it's a joke. Okay, I'm first going to go in with the lit ones, because um, I'm actually just going to keep all of these. I love lit glitters, they're absolutely stunning. I like to leave it that way, facing up, because you can see the shade and the names on them as well. So I'm just going to pop them um, down here, in no particular order, I'm just going to slap them in I'm gonna move on to my MAC ones now because they're kind of like the bulk of everything I'm gonna work on my MAC ones kind of like down here that region I've got so many MAC ones I want to try and organize these as much as possible as well um, I'm gonna keep the majority of them so I've got like these ones which are genuine orange rocket yellow and basic red they're kind of just going to sit there. Like Magenta Magnus, that's a reflex one, but it's quite a pigmented reflex one. I've got some that are limited edition glitters. And then I want to keep all my reflex together as much as possible. Vanilla's going to go at the front, and then all my reflex. I love the reflex line. They kind of look like white powders, but then they go like a different colour when you pop them on top, and they're gorgeous. Vanilla's gonna go at the front because I love to highlight my brow bone with vanilla. Is there even, is there even a difference in these? Really? I have to keep my Mac on, so. I'm not allowed to sell them or get rid of them. And then I've got like tan, rose. Oh, it's just gonna be so much Mac. Copper sparkle, melon. Then I've got actual glitter glitters as well. These are like full on glitter glitters i've got 3d silver 3d black red but that's like a glitter 3d pale mint and 3d platinum and then i've got ones from like christmas collections as well like i have so many and now we've got a little bit of space so i'm gonna go with my violet voss i'm gonna keep all my violet voss as well um i know this is meant to be a declutter but my violet voss glitters are probably the best glitters ever lit ones are like pigments more they are glitters as well but i prefer like violet voss ones as glitter glitters if that makes sense i hope it does that's one of my favorites copperella it is so beautiful it's like a lovely lovely copper glitter and then i've got a few from nyx which i'm gonna keep as well I know this is meant to be a declutter. I'm gonna be decluttering stuff in a sec, don't worry. I 
next ones can just live there happily. I've got these ones from Stargazer. I've had them for a year and I've never used any of them. I'm going to get rid of that one. It's like a bronzy one and I don't really use bronzy glitters. And when I do, I've got loads of others instead. I'm going to keep these two though. One's like a neon pink and one's like a reddish burgundy shade. I've got these from Too Faced. I've got one in the shade Starry Night. It's kind of like a blacky blue glitter. I might keep that one. One in the shade Wrapped in Pink, one in the shade Snow Fairy, and then there's Tinsel. I'm going to get rid of Tinsel because Tinsel is like a gold. And again, I don't usually use gold glitters, and when I do, I have others that I prefer. But this one from Glitterize, which is very similar to one I've already got. Um, but I really want to keep it. I might keep that. I mean, it fits perfectly there. Um, and then I've got all of these from Makeup Geek. I've actually decluttered so many of them already. Um, and I think I'm going to... Oh, they're just the most awful packaging. Okay, I'm going to keep that one. That's in the shade Satellite. It's kind of like a gold, but it has like all this like purple reflex to it. Which is really nice. I'm going to keep that one. That one's a straight asteroid. I'm going to get rid of that because it's just gold. That's in the shade Nibella, which is just a purple. I'm going to get rid of that. That one's in the shade Constellation. I've used this a couple of times. This is in the shade Constellation. I actually quite like that one. I'm going to keep that. I've got this one in Martian. I'm going to keep that one as well. I've got this one in the shade Solstice. That's like a pale minty green. I might keep that one too. And then I think I'm going to get rid of the rest. And then I may keep that one. That's in the shade Halo. I think I've used that a couple of times as well. Yay, I've got space. Oh, I'm so excited now. Okay, now we do the other drawer. And I've got loads of little, little sample pots of MAC, but that's okay. So now we're on to the next drawer. So I've just left my Inglot ones in there because I'm not gonna get rid of any of them. Inglot and Lit Cosmetics are like holy grails for me and I'm just gonna add the two new ones that I got from iMats and now they make a perfect two line. Uh, Inglot are amazing, honestly, check out their pigments. You will not be sorry, I promise you that, on my life. I'm gonna keep all of my peaches and cream ones. I have the shade Prin, Wow, Art Disco, Flamingo, Famous and Selfie. I actually haven't really played with these the way I think I should. If you want to see in a tutorial, please let me know in the comments down below because I really want to play with them more. Um, I feel like everyone raves about them and I understand why because they are beautiful but I just don't get to, to play. I have another one from Too Faced. I think this may have came with the Nikki collab. If I'm not mistaken, it's in the shade Glitterelli. Let me have a look. Oh, that's nice. That's like a white silver. I'm going to put pop that up there with the other one. So now all my Too Faced ones together. You guys know from my makeup collection, I like to keep things brand, um, brand orientated as opposed to colour. So that's why I'm gonna keep those there. I've got these two from Makeup Addiction, one in Enchanted and one in French Manicure. I'm gonna keep both of those because they are stunning, stunning shades. That French Manicure in Summer is gorgeous. You'll see a tutorial, don't worry. I have these two from Makeup Revolution. They're like the foil shadows. I'm gonna get rid of both of them because I've had them for ages. They're relatively inexpensive, so if I wanna repurchase, I always can. I have these from Dose of Colors, which I don't think I've really ever properly played with. I have the shade Pixie Dust. I'm just gonna see what they're kind of like for, Ugh! Let's see what they're like first. That looks nice. But would I ever use it? Oh, I may use that one. This declutter might not go to plan. It might just be me going through my collection in depth. Who knows? Mermaid. I'm going to get... Oh, Mermaid one is, is one that I keep trying to use and I just never do. I've got so many shades similar to that. Oh, right. We'll put that to the side for a sec. I've got Sunset, which is like a bronze. I'm going to keep that. I've got Shell. Oh, Shell's beautiful. I'm going to keep Shell got disco i'm gonna get rid of disco because i won't use that one and then maroon oh look at that purple that's stunning i'm gonna keep that one 
What do I do about this mermaid one? I might keep him to the side. If I've got space, I'll keep him forever. If not, I'll have to depart. These ones from Sigma. These are loose shimmer shadows. This is in the shade Bedazzle. If it's still got the thing, I might as well get rid of it. I've never used it. I don't think I ever will, so goodbye to Bedazzled, unfortunately. I've got the shade Celestial, which I think I haven't used either, but this one looks really nice, actually. That one looks like a holographic almost. I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see, but it does look so holographic. I'm going to keep that. And then I have the shade Transpose. Let me get rid of that one. It looks a bit dark for what I would usually use. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one. These are two ones from Makeup Geek. I love Afterglow. It's such a beautiful pigment. And then Insomnia, I'm going to keep both of those. Insomnia was like the first pigment I ever owned. So I have a lot of um, love for that and a lot of emotional attachment to it. I've got a glitter from LA Splash. I'm just gonna get rid of that because I've never used it. I've got two bases from Kiko. I think I've used them like a few years ago. I'm gonna get rid of both. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of the silvery one in 05. I'm gonna keep 01 and just see if I ever use it. If not, it can always get decluttered again. I have one from Lime Crime in the shade, Ge in the shade Gemini kind of like a white that reflects out i'll keep that i love me that i've got a similar one from makeup geek i love those types of things anything that's reflexes i'm all for another one from obsessive compulsive cosmetics and then these two where did you guys come from i'm gonna get rid of this gold one because i'm not really sure what it is and i don't really wear gold glitter and i've just got a random one i don't know who you're from or where you are but you can stay is there space up there yes perfect so we've got space should I put him in? Should I do it? I'll do it. If not, we can declutter again. I've got these two from Sugar Pill. Um, I may get rid of the green one. And then the red one is in the shade Asylum. And I'm just going to pop them there. And then at the moment, I've got nothing else that... Do I have anything else that I want to put there? I'm not sure yet. But if not, I'm going to put all my MAC samples there. So that's another draw done. This is when we kind of go into a little bit more of like single shadows as opposed to pigments and glitters. Okay, so I'm going to start with stuff that I definitely know I want to keep because I've seen some things in here that I'm probably sure that I'm definitely going to declutter. I have the Kiko eyeshadow in the shade 19. It's just a yellow eyeshadow. I'm definitely going to keep that. And my sleek blusher in Aruba. Definitely going to keep that. Those two are like cult favourites. Got another eyeshadow from Kiko in the shade 18. Looks pretty much unused to me. It's really nice, but... Mm, I just wouldn't wear it. I don't really wear gold shimmers, so I'm going to get rid of that. I don't know why, I'm just like, if I wear shimmers, it's usually like really white or a colour. I don't really wear gold shimmery smoky eyes, I usually wear matte. So that's why I get rid of like a lot of gold glitters and whatnot, because I'd rather prefer just to have a matte eye or like reflex. Working at MAC has changed me got these two eyeshadows from Sephora. I'm going to keep both of them. One's in the shade Starlet and one's in the shade Mango Shake. If you guys have been with me for a while, you probably remember those. I absolutely adore those eyeshadows and I'll probably never get rid of them. Got three from Stargazer, a yellow, an orange and a red. I'm going to keep those as well. They probably won't stay single stacked, um, but I'm just going to single stack them for now and then I can raise them when I need to. I've got two from Kat Von D, which I've never ever used. I'm definitely going to get rid of the green one. That's in the shade um, black number one, I think. It's kind of like a um, reflex, like green into like purpley kind of thing. But it's very similar to pigments that I've already got. And then this one is in the shade raw power. I mean, when am I going to wear that? No, I'm going to get rid of that as well. I have these ones from L'Oreal. I'm going to keep that one. That is in the shade Amber Rush. These are the infallible um, eyeshadows. That's what it's called. And then I've got one in the shade Endless Pearl. What do you look like? No, I'm going to get rid of that one. 
I just don't feel like I'll ever use it. And then this is in the shade Iced Latte. I think I'm gonna keep that one. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Iced Latte and the other ambery one. I have two from Stargazer. I'm gonna keep both of these. It's really nice neon shadows. I have a couple from Urban Decay. I've got the shade Naked, which I'm gonna get rid of. They're in the palettes. Um, and the shade Beware. I'm gonna get rid of that, I've never used that. And then I have the shade Lounge, which is kind of like that Kat Von D one, but a bit more intense. So I'm gonna keep that one. Um, just because it looks a little bit more intense. I've got this NYX blush out, which is like crumbled and I need to put rubbing alcohol. So I'm gonna keep that out so that I know to do that because I've had it for a little while now and I still haven't done it yet. I have two from Bobby Brown. I've got Camel and Taupe. I'm gonna keep both of those. And then I have a couple from H&M. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is in the shade Gingerbread. It's like a brown. And then I've got the shade, oh my God, Termic. Can I? say things right is that what it's really called termic termic which is like a burn yellowish which i want to keep because i don't really have i've got like neon yellows and like light yellows but nothing similar to that i have some from ardency in what is that shade this is the shade vintage gold oh why don't you use your stuff sophie no i'm gonna get rid of that i don't i've never used it i don't think i ever will this is in the shade Copper. I'm going to get rid of that. Anything that says Copper, I'm all for. And then the shade Sunday, which is like a lighter one. I like lighter ones. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. Maybe let's start stacking. Those two are the same brand. They're the same brand. Um, let's see how we go with the rest. I have quite a few from Makeup Forever. Um, which I never really use. This is the shade D712, which looks like that. My hand's clean yet. Oh, that's really pretty. I might keep that one. So that's D712. This is the shade 1662. I'm probably going to get rid of that one. This is the shade D750. It's like a nice peachy kind of colour. I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to have bother swatching that. And then I've got the shade ME612. Oh, I might get rid of that one. I've never used these. I've only used the purple one, which you'll see in a sec. Um, no, I'm going to get rid of that. Unused stuff makes me so sad. And then this is the purple one, which I'm definitely keeping. I really do like that. And then I've just got some stuff from Makeup Store, which I've had for ages and I never ever reach for it because it's just like, I never know what's in it. I've put like little marks on the tops of them so that I can see, but even then it doesn't entice me to use it. Oh, so this is an eye dust in the shade Pinky. It's really beautifully packaged, apart from the fact that you don't know what shade anything is. Oh. So it's kind of like a loose powder. I'm going to get rid of it. I just don't know what it is. I just don't know what it is. And it just stresses me out. This is an eye dust in the shade Strict. I'm probably just going to get rid of that straight away. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. I think they're really beautiful, but I just never, ever, ever reach for them. And then I've got like this foil thing, which is good for nails. So I'm like, give that to Ashley and see if she wants that. I've got a white eyeshadow, which is always, always handy to have. A micro shadow in the shade of bronze. Whoa, that's really pigmented. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. That's actually really nice. I need to use that. That's gorgeous. And then I have an eye dust in the shade sand, which I'm going to get rid of. So I think it's pretty much the same thing as the others. And then this eyeshadow, which is probably one of my favorites. I love the way it's designed. This is in the shade grass it's a gorgeous gorgeous green that is dotted yeah it's a gorgeous like lime green i'm gonna keep that as well no no this will annoy, annoy me please don't okay i'm just gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it so yeah that's that that's decluttered quite a bit next stuff is nars illamasqua and ColourPop. i know for a fact i'm not gonna declutter any of my nars so that is just gonna stay right where it is right where it belongs with me safe and sound i'm not gonna declutter my 
in Lamasca stuff, but I will be decluttering my Colourpop stuff because most of them are dried out. Actually, tell a lie, I'm going to declutter this shade. Um, it looks like I've used it loads. I think I've only used it once. It's kind of like a gold, but I've got that new one from Makeup Forever now. It's in the shade Bronx. It is really creamy, though. What is that? It is really creamy, though, and, like, smooth, but, yeah. I need to be cutthroat, man. I need to be cutthroat. This is so annoying. Why don't they all fit? Maybe I have to get rid of one more. No. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I'll be okay. Does that fit? No. This is so frustrating. <laughs> when they don't fit. Anyway, right, Colourpop shadows. So I've got this one, which is pretty much gone. This is in the shade Central Perk. It doesn't even like swatch anymore. So I'm just gonna bin those. I've actually got the hiccups, so apologies if you can hear me like pausing to hiccup. This is in the shade Ibiza or Ibiza. They're literally just so dried up and powdery. I'm gonna get rid of that. I have the shade Coconut, I'm gonna get rid of that. I have the shade Bay. Are you creamy? Ooh. No. It's just not like pigmented anymore. It's such a shame. I really want to try their single eyeshadows as well, like the normal pans. But I'm worried are they going to be a drying formula too. That one was such a nice one. That one's flutes and it was like a beautiful transition. I'm going to get rid of that. This is in the shade Game Face. Oh, you look pigmented. Okay, I'm going to keep that one. That's Game Face. Oh, this is just really annoying me. Maybe I'll put my NARS one down there. Yay! The shade Weemy! Oh, you still feel creamy. We'll keep, we'll keep you. I have the shade Flipper. Oh no, that one's gone. That's gone. I've got the shade Soul Quiche. He's gone as well. The shade Girl Power. That looks dry just looking at it. Yeah. Friggle. Oh, that feels nice. That's nice and creamy. That's a nice shade. Keep that one. Birthday girl. Oh, are we on? To, are we on to something? Yeah, I'll keep that one. That's nice and creamy still. And then I've got the shade K-pop. And that's dried out. I'm gonna get rid of that. So I've had to get rid of most of them. I've still got four, which is fine by me. Actually, I might get rid of this. Oh. Yeah, that's from Illamasqua. That's a pure pig power, pure pigment in the shade Android. I'm going to get rid of that. So I've got those two now. Oh, how do I want to do this? China Blue is beautiful. Valhalla is beautiful. What shade is that? Persia. I might get rid of that, actually, if I'm not. This is a dual intensity in Pacify. I don't know if that's right. What one's that? Regal, that's nice. And Himalaya, yes. Exhibit A, which is stunning. Where's all this glitter come from? What the frig? Oh my God, I don't even know. Ah! I've never used that. Oh my God, that is stunning. Look at my crazy hair. Love. Oh my god, that is so pretty. See, de declutters are good. I might get rid of that, actually. I mean, I don't use bronze stuff. I don't need that much bronze stuff. And then Mad Mad World, which I think is another duo. A greeny one? Yeah, I might keep that one. That's a really nice blue. Oh my god, that is so freaking pretty. <gasps> I'm so mad. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And then we've got my MAC ones. Yeah, I do need to depot some of them. Actually, I might, get rid of the, I might get rid of these ones and give them to Mitch if he wants them. These are the pressed pigments in Light Touch and Blonde Streak. And we've got like two of these news flashes. I give one away to one of the guys at work. Um, yeah. I might see if he wants these as well. I never use any of them. Those are the elect electric cool eyeshadows in Black Sands, Infraviolet, and Electric Illumination. I never use any of them, so. 
We'll see if he wants those. And now I can see what I own more. Yay, what shade is this? Join my league. What shade are you? And then I've got a couple of palettes in the back and a couple of palettes there. And then a couple of long palettes. And then I've got my, my Mariah palette, which she kind of just like floats around if I'm honest. And then the last drawer has got some stuff that I'm already selling on Depop. So I've kind of decluttered this already. And like my mount stacks as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. So we've done rather well for ourselves, guys. Let me just pop my MAC pigment samples in here. Please don't judge me. There's a lot. Perfection. So the next thing that I'm doing cluttering it is like my brows and mascara. That is literally all that's in this drawer. You would have seen it from my makeup collection. I'm not really going to necessarily take anything like out like and put it back in i'm just gonna go through it because that's just gonna be easier for me because there's hardly anything in this anyway um this is kind of like where i keep brow sets and brow pencils um if you guys watch any of my videos i don't use pencils and i have a ridiculous amount of pencils so i'm just gonna go through them all my brow sets i'm pretty much gonna keep i've got like anastasia ico um collection actually i can't get into this one yeah so i'm gonna bin that and buy a new one because i really do like it I've got a few from MAC, NYX, another Anastasia, a couple from L'Oreal. I may get rid of one of these though. Which one looks, I think that one looks really old. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And is that the newer one? Yeah. So I'm just going to get rid of my older one just because I don't need it anymore. Um, I've got a mini Anastasia one which I actually use for my hair. Um, top tip, use a clear brow set when you're doing a... Uh, top bun to get any like baby hairs or like straggly hairs or anything because it sets it down so that one is specifically for that I never use that one on my brows I use the bigger ones on my brows um another one from Mayak and then a little one from Sleek which I've actually had for ages I'm gonna get a new one because I think that's just manky now um and then the rest are pencils which like I said I never ever 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 use I've got one from NYX, which I'm gonna keep. I know I said I just I know I just said I never use them, so I should really bin them all. But I'm actually gonna keep this one because it's kind of good for drugstore ones. And it was actually a really good pencil from what I remember. I do have one of the brow powders which I go through. All of these um brow wizards from Anastasia, I'm gonna get rid of. I never ever ever use them. Seriously, all of those. I never use them ever, so I don't need it. Um, from my MAC ones, oh my god, I've got a new one in Spikes, this is one of the new Shape and Brows, but yeah, I got that for like, um, freckles, and then these are the other MAC ones I have, that one's so old, the name's rubbed off, I'm pretty sure it's Spiked, which I've got a new one of, I've got two Lingerings, I don't need Fling, that's far too light, that's another Lingering, so the old ones I have got the names rubbed off, I'm gonna get rid of, evidently I've had it too long, and then... That's got quite a bit of product in. And that one has as well. So I'm gonna keep both of those just for like freckles and like if I ever try to use pencils again. So that was a massive declutter. We've got a couple of here as well. That's the NYX Micro Brow, which was actually really nice. I might keep that one. We never know what route I go down. The Elizabeth Arden one is probably my favorite brow pencil if I was ever to do pencil brows. But I've run out, so that's a no. Um, I've got my penultimate brow marker, which I use for my freckle at the moment. So I'm going to keep that. And then this Ico brow liner, medium to dark, shape and define. I don't think I've ever used this before. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. It's a bit too cool toned for me. And that's that. That is that. Is that. So I'm just going to put my brow sets back in. <laughs> now I've got a lot more space. And then there's a brow powder, like I said, from Anastasia, which I'm pretty sure I've never used. Yeah, I've never used that before. So I'm going to get rid of they at and then how do i do this all my gel liners at the front i'm gonna keep apart from that one that is my old amc gel liner from ingla it is so dried up like it's so cracked and i've just bought a new one from imats which is already in there so i don't need him anymore um oh my god right i've got a backup of black track which is a liner 
I've got two Anastasia pomades, which I never use. I don't use Anastasia anymore. Um, I mean, it's just so light. Yeah, I'm never going to use that. My brows go way darker. I've got soft brown and blonde. I'm going to get rid of both because I never use um, them that light, to be fair. I go very dark on my brows. You guys probably know that. I've got two from Anastasia. I'm pretty sure they're both dried the fuck up. I've, never, I've used that one once. So I'm going to get rid of that. I never use that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm getting rid of so much makeup. It's a joke. And this one is in the shade Chocolate. If I was to use one, it would be this one. Ew. But it's so, so dried up. I might try and revive it with Duraline. Now that I brought Duraline. Yeah, I'll leave that in there. Give it another go in a couple of days. After the Duraline's got to work and see if I prefer it. Uh, but I keep that one there. I've got Dirty Blonde by MAC, which I'm probably going to get rid of because I never go that light anymore. I've got Redhead, which is even lighter, which I definitely don't go that light. Like, I think I've only used that a couple of times. Um, I've got True Brunette. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't go this light. I just don't go... I actually might keep True Brunette just in case because I've got Deep Dark Brunette. And then I've got Dip Down, which are kind of like the ones that I use. So, Yeah. We'll keep those for now. So we've got the Anastasia True Brunette Dirty, no, Deep Dark Brunette and Dip Down. I've got this one from um, Primark. It was just a bit too light, so I'm going to get rid of that. If they had a darker one, I'd love it. This one's from Freedom, which is dried up, so we can say goodbye to that. Sorry if you can hear the birds chirping away. I've got this one from Colourpop, which was just not dark enough or pigmented enough for me one from nars which i need to duraline that as well because i really liked that and i liked the consistency and the shade oh but it just dried up before i could finish using it i leave that those two stood up while the duraline works um i've got this one from freedom maker which is dried up as well and then this is just a little sample part of deep dark brunette as well so that is what from mac so that is what my brows now look like oh i may put my gel liners in with them just so that they all can just sit in a in a slot together ignore all that glitter by the way just ignore it the next one is mascaras so <laughs> i have a lot of mascaras and i don't really use any of them if i'm honest Love me a bit of Upward Lash and Extended Play. Those are both by MAC. I'm going to be keeping them. That's a really good one because it's a green um, from MAC. It's from like a collection ages ago, the Toledo collection. I keep that one if I want to do a colourful um, mascara. Jordana Best Lash I'm going to keep until I've finished the Upward Lash. Um, the Maybelline Falsies Push Up is really nice. That one's probably dried up now. So I'm going to get rid of that. That's the L'Oreal false lash extreme which is one of my favorites but it's just dried um the nars audacious i really hated this but then the lady said just wait for it to dry up i'm gonna keep it just because i'm filming a full face of nars makeup very soon um and then i'll probably get rid of it after but just for that video i'm gonna keep it have the mac hot and naughty which i've had since it first came out which was years ago so i'm gonna get rid of that because it's probably dried up the benefit they're real i really don't like this I much prefer Roll Lash, so I'm going to get rid of that. MAC Extreme Dimension, I'm going to keep. I do like that one. The MAC Roll Liner, I'm going to keep as well. Um, this one's really good, actually, um, for like a fluffy brow or to like really natural brows. It's a mascara primer, um, and it is clear. It does look white, but it dries down clear. Um, and it's actually just really good for like a fluffy brow and just to kind of prime the brows. So I'm going to put that just with my brow stuff now. The Marc Jacobs Noir Fat Mascara, I'm going to get rid of. I really don't like that brush. Um, I've got a mini Smashbox Full Exposure. I'm going to keep that. That's good for travelling. A mini Tarte one. These ones, these two have never been opened, the minis. So I'm not going to open them now. I don't want to dry them out before they are needed. A mini one of the Marc Jacobs. So I'm actually going to keep the mini and get rid of the big, like I said. A mini Better Than Sex from Too Faced. Cannot stand that mascara. I've got another one as well. And then the one that came with the Nikki. I'm going to keep the Nikki one because I think it's purple which is good to have as like a purple mascara, but I cannot stand that mascara. I do not like the wand at all. 
um, the balm watch your type I really liked this mascara but I think it's dried up now yeah I need to get back up I really do like that I've got some mascara wands in there for some reason oh the tart I've never used that have I okay you look like you've been opened I'm gonna keep that because it's good to travel with and then I've got some colorful ones which I'm gonna keep as well um, for any like colorful looks that I do so I've gone down a lot that was one of my biggest drawers this was one of my biggest annoyances was like how many mascaras I had and now it's a bit more manageable oh my god it's way more manageable oh yeah much 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 prefer that and then that is that drawer complete as well